smallmouth are almost against the grain. So, so what, I'm, what I'm getting at here is you're going to hear a lot of stuff from me that has been theories or things that I've put in motion because I, I've kind of gone out and done them. Like Pete probably talked a lot about boats and rigging and running rough water and all those different things. I heard him mention some stuff about keeping fish alive in live wells and you know all those things. And a lot of that is, is great stuff. But a lot of that stuff when it comes to Great Lakes stuff, you know, the way I kind of developed my system and the way I learned from things is I just kind of went and, and did it. Years ago, we, we were the guy, you know, I was one of the guys that Ranger sent a whole lot of prototype things in their boats to see if they would hold up. Or Minn Kota sends mounts to, to see if I destroy them in the course of a year. And a lot of those innovations have been because of big water stuff because I, myself and some other guys, we grew up with the market. You know what I mean? You know, you saw it in largemouth, but now we're, now we're seeing it in smallmouth. So, so that's a little bit about that. So, if, so a lot of my stuff is probably go off the grid and crazy and weird. Um, and if you have something you're just, that's just burning you and you want to ask me, I understand. But, but uh, I can also explain some of that stuff. I can tell you why you use ice. Okay? And it's, you know, I could scientifically tell you how that helps fish and why to use a whole bag and keep it in a bag instead of pouring it in your live well because I heard a little bit about that. So we'll talk about all that. Tell you what lures you probably should use or could use. Now some are extremely unique for this type of fishing compared to others. Here's one right here. It'd be funny if I just held up something really not unique right now, wouldn't it? No. Here's a hair jig. How many people have ever used a hair jig? How many of you have used them for smallmouth? Okay, good number. It's because of the part we are in the, Most places in the country you would do that. If you're in the central south of the country, a lot of people would hope they're, they're they go, yeah, I use hair jigs, you say for smallmouth, and they go like this. They use them for stripers and largemouth. They use them on shad lakes because they look like big shad falling through the water. Very few people use them for smallmouth. Those that have are just mainly old school kind of northern feel things. But see, the difference is with a hair jig. Now, this is the exact same hair jig that I use. This is made by a company called like Cervidae, I think is the name, C-E-R-V-I-D-A-E, -E, um, which is like the scientific name for deer. But it's a guy that used to fish the elites that makes these, and he's always made mine. Because in northern Ohio, we always use these. And this is a lead head, a good hook, and bucktail, jig, bucktail hair. That's it. There's no trailer, there's no pork, there's no nothing. If you put anything on it, it doesn't work, okay, for smallmouth on the Great Lakes. Now, there's something very different about the way that hair looks in very cold water. This will work tremendously in 37, uh, 42, 43, 44 degree water. After that, it kind of fades out. You can use a tube, you can use a lot of stuff. But if your buddy's got this and the water's 39 and you're fishing like in early April, first time out, and you don't have this, you are going to rent this from your friend. You'll go every other cast for a dollar. <laughs> I mean, I once, do you guys, if you ever, some of you probably heard the name Steve Clapper. He's an older guy that I fished, legendary guy from Lake Erie. He once beat me 27-1 with one of these. You think after 20, he'd go, hey man, no, no. You need to start with baits that not only are good smallmouth baits, but you need to have a selection of baits you can cast a long, long way if you're going big water smallmouth fishing. Because you're on big water and it's always windy. Okay? And you're trying to cover, for instance, you know, you might go to a body of water where we've seen, you know, uh, <laughs> TV shows filmed or whatever, maybe it's a thousand acres, you know, and they say, oh, that's a nice sized lake. You can run around, you can fish a whole bunch of it in the course of a day. A couple, 3,000 acres, that's pretty big. Let some guys, you know, get some room. Lake Erie's 240 miles long and it's 65 miles wide. You know, they measure lakes like that by square miles. Thousands and times, I mean, not by acres. So, so, so you've got these huge bodies of water. You've got this massive search you're going to undertake in terrible weather half the time with the wind blowing. You need baits you can cast. You need baits that get down deep, even when it's rough, if you're going to fish deep, okay? And you need stuff that's really, really uh, effective in those situations. I hope you enjoyed the preview clip. And for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop powered by Tackle Warehouse and click right here and it's all at your fingertips.
If you want to become a better angler, you want to catch more and bigger bass at your local pond, then check out Bash University TV for hardcore bass fishing information. Hey, I'm Pete Gluzek. And I'm Mike Iaconelli. And this is Bash University TV. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. Everywhere I go in the country, I'm trying to use these techniques because I catch big fish that way. From on the water to in the classroom. We want to use that bait to help make that area even smaller and really, really find that sweet spot. You'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. You want something that's got a nice limber action that's going to allow you to build pressure and keep those hooks pinned against that fish's mouth. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Hold on, because you're going to catch the big <laughs> fish. Information is power in the sport of fishing, so learn from the very best. That's a key theory in all of fishing. Subscribe to Bass University TV today. Man, does it trigger a lot of strikes. Here's the part that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is the Bash University TV exclusive.